in your e-learning classes and as we have completed the chapter safety and first aid and yesterday we have completed our uh, very short answers that is mcq fill in the blanks and true and false so today uh, we will discuss few of the short questions and very short answers okay so very short question answers and short question answers today we will revise so one by one i will tell you and we will discuss so that you can write down few of the answers and later on i will give you in on the board okay so first of all we will go through the uh, very short answer question so there are questions uh, number one question is name the disease caused by a dog bite so we know uh, dog bite in the dog saliva there is one uh, type of virus called rabies and uh, when it uh, just cut us or when uh, this dog bites us that time this rabies goes inside of our body and the disease caused also rabies so the answer is rabies okay so you have to write the answer the name of the disease caused by the dog is rabies question 2 is there uh, what should we apply on minor burns if antiseptic cream is not available so we know if there is no antiseptic cream what we can make we can make a paste out of uh, this uh, baking soda and water so baking soda mixes with the water make a paste and a uh, paste and apply it on the burning place so that the burning sensation will become calm down and uh, the person will feel better so the answer is a uh, paste of baking soda and water now the third question is what should we use to put off fire when it is caused by petrol so we know when the uh, when any uh, kind of fire caused due to the petrol or kerosene so they all are uh, actually lighter than water so they uh, come up on the surface of the water and they flare up the fire flames that is the reason what we have to use so in this case when uh, uh, any kind of uh, petrol or due to this kind of uh, fire occurs or the accident occurs that time we have to use mud or sand okay so the first answer is rabies second answer is paste of baking soda and water and the third answer is apply sand or mud okay so these all are the very short answers now we will move on to the short answer and questions question number 1 is what is meant by fracture so answer what is meant by fracture as we know uh, whenever the bone or any uh, bone is being cracked or it is been broken that is called the fracture so answer you have to write fracture means a crack or break in a bone so what will be the answer fracture means a crack or break in a bone again i am repeating fracture means a crack or break in a bone okay so this is the answer now list any three safety measures for preventing fire there are so many uh, prevention or preventive measures are given in our book but i have chosen three and you can opt your own uh, three uh, three precautions or preventive measures also okay but i have chosen these three so the three preventive measures from fire are number one we should handle uh, matches sticks candles gas stove etc very carefully so what is the first point we should handle matches sticks candle gas stove uh, any uh, i mean any explosive Uh, very carefully so that it could not get any kind of further uh, accident or further fire okay next one is the second uh, measure is preventive measure is we should not wear nylon or synthetic clothes while cooking food so why we should not have to wear the nylon on the uh, nylon and the synthetic cloth because we know it easily caught fire and secondly it stick to our body and causes more pain and more injuries that is the reason what the preventive measure we have to take we should not wear any kind of nylon or synthetic clothes 
while cooking the food because they easily catch the fire. So what we have to wear? We have to always wear cotton clothes and these cotton clothes also should not be very loose. Okay, so the second preventive measure is, again I am repeating, we should not wear nylon and synthetic clothes while cooking, they easily catch fire. Okay, now the third measure is, when there is any gas leakage, we should not use lighter, majestic or operate any electrical switch. So why we should do this? As I have discussed already, we have, uh, when any, uh, when you think the gas has been leaked out or there is any leakage in the gas stove or the oven, that time we should be very careful because if any kind of uh, trickle of the fire or any pick of the fire uh, just come out from anywhere, it can catch the fire in the whole place or the entire uh, room. So it should be, uh, we should be very careful about this. So, whenever you feel any leakage of the gas oven is there, should not open any kind of the switch or do not use lighter, do not use any lit any majestic because this can make the fire flare up in the room or it, it may cause a, uh, it may cause a fatal. Okay. So, we have to be very careful about using this uh, gas stove and whenever any leakage is in the gas stove. The third measure I have given. So, these all measures, again I am repeating one time, uh, three preventive measures from fire are, we should handle matchstick, candles, gas stove, etc. very carefully. Number two, we should not wear nylon and synthetic clothes while cooking, they easily catch fire. And the third pre preventive measure is, when there is any gas leakage, we should not use lighter, Matchstick or operate any electrical switch. It can be fire. Uh, it may be a dangerous situation may arise and it may be fatal. Okay. So the third question now. Uh, the third statement is actually first of all the statement is given. So we, uh, short answers question type. Uh, question three. Actually first of all one statement is given here. What is the statement? Kartar is a truck driver. He always carries a first aid box with him whenever he goes on a journey so that he could help the needy person on the way. Again, I am repeating the statement. Kartar is a truck driver. He always carries a first aid box with him whenever he goes on a journey so that he could help the needy person on the way. And questions... Uh, related on this statement is question number one. What is first aid? As we know, we have to write the answer from the book. So, what is first aid? Uh, the immediate medical help given to the uh, injured person be before a uh, uh, proper medical aid is called the first aid. Or you can say before doctor's arrival, whatever immediate help we are giving to the patient after the accident is called the first aid. Okay, now the second uh, question is given, what do we learn from Karta? So he was a, a truck driver, but why he was uh, carrying a first aid box, that means he was very careful. So answer is, Karta makes us learn that it is necessary to be careful and conscious at the same time by carrying a first aid box and uh, the will to help, uh, help others who are in need. He proves himself to be a alert and a responsible person. Okay. So the answer again I am repeating. Karta makes us learn that it is necessary to be careful and conscious at the same time. By carrying a first aid box and the will to uh, <coughs> help others in need. He proves himself to be a responsible citizen. So what he made? He proved that he was, he's a responsible citizen because when he's uh, carrying a truck, when he's uh, going from a, a truck, there may be chances of having some kind of uh, accident. So for that precaution, for that reason, he always carries a first aid box. 
so that if anything happened uh, on the way, so he could help the others as well as he can take care of himself. So he is a responsible person and he had a will to take care of others also. Okay. So that is the answer of the B question. Now the last question, short answer questions. What should you do to reduce swelling in case of sprain? So we know sprain means when any ankle or our wrist is being twisted. So due to this twisting of our ankle or the knee portion, it becomes swollen up and there is a lot of pain. So what is the um, what is the remedy for reducing this uh, swelling place? Uh, we have to use ice pack or some cold water on this space on the place where it is it has been get uh, swelling. So in this area it become calm and, and the person get reduced uh, swelling or the uh, reduce the um, it will get relief from the pain. So you should use ice packs to reduce swelling. And some pain relieving ointment we can use. So what we have to use? We can use uh, ice pack to reduce the swelling on that place. So what is the answer? We can use uh, ice packs uh, to reduce the swelling. And we can use some uh, pain relieving ointment to relieve the pain. Okay. So in the case of spray, we have to use ice pack to reduce the swelling. And uh, ointment to reduce or to relieve to get relief from the pain. So that's all for today. We have discussed the short answers and very short answers. I'm repeating and I have repeated all the answers two and three times so that you can get the answer. And whenever our server will become again work, I will uh, give all the answers in the e-portal. So you don't uh, get worried about it. You will get all the answers. But these all answers are very short answers. So you can write it by listening it. Okay. And um, just go through your uh, lessons. Listen them carefully. And uh, whenever I am uh, just repeating the answer, you can write in the rough copy. And then again you will write in your uh, fair copy or in your science copy. Okay, that's all for today. The long questions in my next session or in my next class, I will discuss. So till that, goodbye and be careful at your home. Okay.